A warm greeting, today is Monday, November 13, 2023. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. In this video, I will be providing an update related to a disturbance currently located just east of Nicaragua, which has a high probability of becoming the next tropical depression of the hurricane season. Eventually, it should move northeastward and potentially impact Jamaica, the eastern part of Cuba, Haiti, portions of the Dominican Republic, the Turks and Caicos Islands, and areas in the southern and central Bahamas. This disturbance promises significant rainfall between Tuesday and Wednesday for parts of Honduras and Nicaragua. Eventually, by the end of this week and during the weekend, for areas between the Dominican Republic, the Bahamas, Haiti, Cuba, and Jamaica, there is a high risk of flooding and landslides for these regions over the next seven days. In the infrared satellite image, we can see this area of inclement weather. It is from here that we expect a low-pressure system to develop, which will eventually interact with a trough coming from the United States. This will help it move northeastward. Conditions may lead to the development of a tropical depression or weak to moderate tropical storm as it passes over some of the Caribbean islands. The National Hurricane Center at 2 p.m. has increased the probability of a tropical depression development to 70%. Please look at the area marked as the possible cyclonic development zone. Today, unlike what we discussed a few days ago, we now have a good consensus that it should generally move in this direction, possibly directly affecting the eastern part of Cuba, Jamaica, Haiti, the Turks and Caicos Islands, and areas of the Bahamas. Some rain may also affect regions of the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico over the weekend. Let's take a look at the latest projections from global models. Let's start with the GFS model, which during Wednesday night hours, has the development of a low-pressure system, potentially a tropical depression just east of Nicaragua. Eventually, it takes a northeastward trajectory as it interacts with a trough from the United States. In the latest run, it has a weak or moderate tropical storm passing near the eastern part of Jamaica and over sections of Haiti and the Turks and Caicos Islands. The important thing is that the GFS model has been quite consistent over the past few days in maintaining this trajectory in this region. Fortunately, it keeps it as a weak or moderate tropical storm. At the moment, it appears that it will not have opportunities to strengthen into a hurricane. Additionally, we have the projection from the European model, where in the morning hours of Thursday, it develops a low-pressure system, almost a tropical depression, just east of Nicaragua. Eventually, starting on Friday, it begins to turn northeastward, passing very close to or over the eastern part of Jamaica, and then over Haiti or the eastern part of Cuba as a weak tropical storm. In the hours of Saturday and during Sunday's early morning, it approaches the Turks and Caicos Islands. Once this future cyclone is located north of the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico, we expect a moisture flow from south to north across the Caribbean Sea. This can bring a significant increase in rainfall to Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. This rainfall is expected between Saturday and Sunday for these areas, between Friday and Saturday for Cuba, Jamaica, the Bahamas, Haiti, and the Turks and Caicos Islands. Furthermore, other models align with this trajectory. For example, the Canadian model has a tropical storm passing over the eastern part of Jamaica and eventually over the eastern part of Cuba in the early hours of Saturday as a tropical storm. Meanwhile, the German model also has a very similar projection, passing near Jamaica and the eastern part of Cuba as a weak tropical storm in the late afternoon of Friday. You can see that there is a good consensus that this disturbance will likely develop into a tropical depression and perhaps a weak to moderate tropical storm, passing very close to or over the eastern part of Jamaica. Eventually, it will continue its path northeastward, affecting the Turks and Caicos Islands, the eastern part of Cuba, Haiti, sections of the Dominican Republic, and regions of Jamaica with heavy precipitation. This forecasted trajectory aligns with the projection of the ensemble members of the GFS model. All of them indicate the development of a tropical depression or tropical storm. The majority of them cross this potential cyclone over sections of Jamaica, Haiti, and the western part of the Dominican Republic during this weekend. The ensemble members of the European model also support this trajectory. They keep the eastern part of Cuba, Jamaica, Haiti, the Turks and Caicos Islands, and the southern Bahamas on alert. Fortunately, it is not expected to strengthen into a hurricane as it moves through this region, but heavy precipitation, the potential for flooding, and landslides are anticipated in the coming days. For example, look at the rainfall projection according to the GFS model. Starting between Tuesday and Wednesday, heavy showers can impact the eastern part of Honduras and Nicaragua. Eventually, between Wednesday and Thursday, the rain will begin to affect some regions of Jamaica and Haiti, with the heaviest rain arriving during the late hours of Thursday and Friday morning, impacting sections of Jamaica, the eastern part of Cuba, the Bahamas, the Turks and Caicos Islands, and a large part of the Dominican Republic and Haiti. The rain will continue to affect this area at least until Saturday afternoon. 
Then, the moisture flow will bring more rain to the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico between Saturday and Sunday. Conditions are expected to improve considerably starting on Monday. Look at the estimated accumulated rainfall expected for these areas, especially for the eastern part of Jamaica, sections of Haiti, the Dominican Republic, and the eastern part of Cuba. We are talking about 150 to 300 millimeters of accumulated rainfall over the next seven days. The heaviest rainfall is expected between Friday and Saturday, also affecting the southern Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands with rainfall totals of 100 to 200 millimeters. Please, if you have interests or live in Jamaica, the eastern part of Cuba, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic, stay tuned for the bulletins that will be issued over the next few days. Also, residents of the eastern part of Honduras, the northeastern part of Nicaragua, areas in the southern and central Bahamas, and the Turks and Caicos Islands may also receive some rains that could cause flooding in the central and eastern part of the Dominican Republic. For Puerto Rico, there will be an increase in humidity from Saturday to Sunday. Well, here at Hurricane Info, I will continue to monitor the evolution of this disturbance. I will be updating this forecast through my YouTube channel. To ensure you don't miss the content, go to the bottom of the video, click on the red button that says subscribe, and then click on the bell icon to receive notifications when I post new videos. With this, I bid farewell, and I'll see you tomorrow with a new forecast update. Goodbye for now.